He's asking whether he stands or he sits down. He sits down, it's okay. They're saying they were fighting against the Johnnies, which were the British. And they were with the Mau Mau Freedom and Land Movement. When was he, when was he fighting against the English? Was in the bush until what? What did you mean? What call you? And why he decided to go, to go to start his fighting? Uh, I saying it is the the problems which they were caused by the British which forced them to go to the forest because even thereafter if you are found eating a fruit you are jailed if you are wearing a hat you are jailed if you do something which is positive, you are jailed. So, and their land was robbed. So they decided to go to the forest to fight to get back their land and freedom. How do they fight? Okay, they say that because the British were very powerful, they were using the tactics which could cause uh, less, uh, less harm to them because they never had uh, like war machineries like the British. So they were going in their homes at night, they laid and maybe they lay an ambush and the British were dropping bombs on, on, on the forest where they were hiding. So it was just like the war of cat and mouse, you know. Was how someone become a Mau Mau? If there was some special particular uh, ritual or ceremony to become a new member of Mau Mau? Okay, I had to pass through a school and you have to, you had to take an oath so that uh, people have unity of working together and also achieving their goals. And uh, it's possible to know this oath uh, in uh, what consists in? I think there was one oath called Go and Mombi. One oath was called Go and Mombi. Kiku and Mombi. Uh, are believed to the to be the first uh, mother and father of Kikuyu race. Just as we, in Christian in Christians we, we, we have Adam and our Kikuyu. Mm -hmm. uh, they have uh, Kikuyu and Mumbi. Kikuyu is the man. Like in the Bible we have Adams, and the Mumbi is the woman, as we have in the Bible Eve. Yeah, so you are, uh, the first all was to join you to the first mother and father of Kikuyu. <laughs> mm. So yeah. that <laughs> you, you get to the steps. Yeah. So the next one. How do you gonna be baton? That one was called B baton. That one was for soldiers. You know there were soldiers and there were also others who were not uh, just soldiers, there were others who were mothers, children. Uh, the OP was having while fighting was uh, satisfied after the finish of the war. Of the finish of the war. They, only uh, they never got what they were hoping for. That's what he's saying. Because they don't have lunch. They don't have homes. Yeah. It, was, 
is a bullet that passed through there. Uh, they wanted to kill him, but he survived the battle. He is now alive in this time, 40 years later after a heavy battle. But in the end, they succeed uh, winning. Yeah. Uh, what is God for him? If he's the same God uh, of the other people, or is uh, which God is? Yeah. <laughs> People say Jesus, uh, but originally he knows the Creator as Morungu. It's a good word of God, God. not Jesus, because mm. Jesus was not used during the battle. He was not known to the Mao Mao. Aha. <laughs> What he is fighting for, the land, should be let should later be occupied by his children and the children of Kenya. So this is a big fulfillment to him. Because right now, there are many houses built where he was operating, he wanted to liberate and already now children are occupying the area and that's how we have come to know, to know each other because we live in the land that he was fighting. <laughs> I take this oath to fight for our land and freedom against the white man you must help us. I will not accept any excuses. and his collaborators. If I am ordered to burn the white man's farm, I will do so without hesitation. If I fail to do this, may these oath kill me and be a curse on my entire family. Everybody involved did it entirely voluntary and gave of their time and energy over several weeks. Some of them, they come from very uh, difficult uh, backgrounds. They've never been in a film before. So the, the originality also yes. of, of bring, putting up the cast together also, was also is, is something that would be exciting and inspiring. Uh, we have known that at the experience teachings, we need to go to college and universities to learn how to act. That's why you see, when you give me the, the role to play, I was feeling, didn't know whether I can do good, whether, because it, it was just, it was just the first time. I was so, so, so overwhelmed by the way the cast uh, did their work. I wasn't expecting so much of you initially, having been told that you have just come from the low income areas, you've never acted before, you've never been on screen. The way Nathan encouraged me 
the way he trained me, the way we used to go for rehearsals and all these. I learned something about acting. You gave uh, much of ourselves, and we, uh, we, we did it like we, are, we, were, we had been there doing it together all along. For on my side, eh, it has built courage. It has made me uh, to realize um, uh, I have that ability to do whatever I can be asked to do. For those who don't know about Mamao, for the kids who are being born today, for the rest of the country, and maybe East Africa region, to know, oh, this is, we always hear about Mamao. So you mean this, this is what is to happen? So once you show them this movie, you'll awaken their consciousness. You'll awaken their minds and brains. Yeah? You'll make them have a story to tell their children and their children to tell their children and their children's children. You see this kind of thing. I was very grateful having been part of the cast, being selected to be part of the cast of this movie. It's probably being one of the Mau Maus because we believe the legacy, the Mau Mau left that, the Mau Mau still lives on, Aluta continues, the struggle lives on. When you mention the word Kemadi, everyone remembers the day of independence, the day of struggle, the day of the Mau Mau. He's my inspirator. Mm, he's my mentor. He's the guy who brought me to be what I am today. No fearing, no retreat, no surrender. I live as a Mau Mau. I behave as one. I think as one. And I believe one day we're going to be totally free. It is very good to remember the history of the African. The Africans had their own taboos. And it was a taboo for an African to kill just an animal aimlessly or without a purpose. So we decided that since this goat was going to take away its life, we wouldn't just leave it there in the bush to rot. After the movie was shot, we were to feast. And we decided, where are we going to feast this, this goat? So the guys in the cast decided that this goat has to be taken to Mantega's place. And the goat was brought to this exactly same place. We ate it overnight, we had drinks, we had songs. There are so many, so many talents back there in the low income areas. There are the people able to do the job just as well as people in Europe and the rest of the world. So let's have some backing and let's make sure that we can go from strength to strength. I want to dedicate my, uh, this film, my, my, my role in this film to all the young people, especially those growing in, uh, from the slums. And I want them to feel inspired. I want them to be touched so that they can believe and uh, that they can also make it. We invite your ideas, your collaborations, your comments, your support, which will help make Hudson film a success.